Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. So this video will be about this crochet cow dress. And I was inspired by, honestly, I was inspired by Doja Cat um, facial video. So I definitely wanted to do it. All the color yarns that I use will be down below in the description box. So I'm using a five millimeter hook and I'm starting off with a red yarn and I'm going to show you guys how I crochet and how I do my slip stitch and all that. So I just did my slip knot and I am preparing my needle so we can start crocheting. So that's my hand <laughs> and what I'm doing is just wrapping the yarn right behind my pinky and then I am going over and wrapping the yarn on my index fingers and I'm grabbing the other string around the slip knot and I'm pushing it down so it we were prepared to do our chain. So before I did my crochet, I measured myself, I measured my hips, my waist, and also my thighs. Guys, it's very important when you're doing, it's very important when you try to do a crochet dress, it's always good to measure yourself. Or if you're doing somebody crochet dress, it's always good to get your measurements. So I chained up 110 chain just because that's the size for an extra large. And if you guys want to do different sizes, um, I recommend you look at the description box because I posted it how many lengths for each sizes. So what I did was just demonstrating you guys how I'm starting the dress. With the first chain, I am doing a slip knot. So now I'm starting my double crochet and what I did was just yarn over go through the next chain and then pull the yarn and then you will see two two loops on the crochet needle and then you will pull through again through that same hole and then you will see three loops on the crochet needle and then you will pull through the two loops and then you will pull through the two loops again and that's how you double crochet guys i'm sorry for the firecrackers that you hear um my neighbors are excited for the holidays <laughs> so just please ignore so after you double crochet each stitch, this is how it will look. And that's how we start in the cow dress. It should be stretchable when you stretch it and also go over your thighs. Now our next color is a mint green dress. And now we're going to start increasing. And all I did was just tie up the two yarns. And that's how we're going to be changing our colors throughout the process. So now we chain in two and we are going to start increasing. So now we're going to do two double crochets on the same hole the two chains are hanging out from. And that's how you basically increase. We're going to do two double crochet on the same loop. Now here's me doing the second double crochet on the same loop. Now after that is done, we're going to do one single double crochet on each chain and then we're going to do all of that until we get around the perimeter and meet up with the two double crochets. So now I'm just finishing it off by double crocheting the last few stitches and then we're going to do a slip knot and all I did was just put my crochet needle into the first chain and then yarn over pull through the needles into both of the hole and that's how you slip knot it and voila that's how you close the hole up and so now we're going to do two chains we're going to be using the same color so we're using the mint color for two rows and then we're going to change on to the next color and i wanted to let you guys know that i increased the 14 rows and how i was able to determine that because i measure myself i measure my thighs to my hips so you have to measure your thighs to your hips how far you want to increase yourself and then once i went to my hips i started decreasing myself because i was crocheting from my hips to my waist so it really determines on the body size so like i said it's always important to do measurements all right so now that this row is almost over now it's time to do a slip knot and change the color i chained two with the same color and then i used my scissor and cut it out and now i am using the pumpkin orange yarn tying it up and changing the color and then 
we're gonna start increasing again which means we're gonna do the two double crochet and guys don't worry about the extra yarn that's like hanging out from your dress you could either cut it out or crochet it into the dress it's up to you guys and with the pumpkin orange we only crochet in one row and here's just me hiding the yarn behind the dress and going about the double crochet guys because this dress needs to look popping and remember guys after you do the two double crochets each chain get one double crochet all right now so now that we almost done now i'm closing it up by of course doing a slip knot and then with the same color i'm doing two chains and then that's how i'm changing the color and basically guys this is what i do throughout the whole dress so now i'm using a yellow yarn and i am going to do four increase rows so each row we're going to still increase but we're still going to do the same method guys so I will be back once I finish doing the four increase rows. So guys, once I finished the four increase row, I started with the purple color and I'm doing five rows with that. And I'm basically doing the same thing guys, nothing changed. So I'm doing five increase rows with the purple guys, the same way that I show you from the beginning. So please don't worry. And moving forward, I will be showing you guys different the colors that I will be using. So guys, since I ran out of the purple yarn before I hit the side seams, I started off with my next color, which is black, and I'm using one row of the black yarn. Ready to hit my 40 increase row, so now I'm about to start decreasing immediately. And the next color I will be using will be yellow again. So decreasing is almost like increase, but a little slight different. So the same way you yarn over, you go through one stitch and then you pull through and then you see two loops on the crochet needle and then you yarn over, pull through the same hole and then you see three loops and then you will pull through the two loops and then you will have two loops again on the needle and then you yarn over and then on the next chain you go through it and pull through the yarn and then you will have four loops on needle and then you pull through two and then you pull through three and that's how you decrease guys <laughs> i hope you guys understand me because i'm really trying my best to explain decreasing and like i'm trying to be in detail as possible to do that we're going to do 10 single double crochet on each chain and then after the 10 we're going to decrease so that's how we're going to decrease throughout the dress so after the 10 stitch now we decrease so it. you yarn over go through one stitch and then you pull that yarn through the same stitch and then you will have three lines and then you yarn over and pull through two lines and you'll have two more lines and then you will go on the next stitch yarn over go through the next stitch and then pull through and then you will have four lines and then you pull through two lines and then you pull through all three so guys i purposely slow down the video so you guys can understand how to decrease i hope you guys understand it and this is basically how we're going like i said do it throughout the whole dress so now we're doing one row of hot pink yarn and we're going to continue decreasing i chained two and then started decreasing and guys don't forget once you decrease you do one single double crochet 10 of them and then you decrease again so of course once we hit the side seam it's time to change the yarn and i'm doing two decreased rows of blue yarn when i hit the side seam it wasn't time for me to decrease so once i change the yarn i still continue to double crochet until i hit 10 and then do the decrease again and as you guys could see once we started decreasing the dress started forming a shape and that's what we want okay and guys when i talk about side seams i'm talking about when we started increasing so you will see like when we started increasing because you will see like a, a form also you will see colors changing as well transitioning to the next color 
Now we move it on to mint green again and now we're doing three decrease rows. So moving forward, I did one decrease row of the pumpkin orange, the yellow, and the purple yarn. So guys, I did try it on. That's why the purple yarn kind of looks stretched out. And I realized that the upper part is a little bit small. So now I'm going to just do regular double crochet because I don't want it to fit me tight. So I did one row of regular double crochet and then two rows of yellow yarn and then regular double crochet as well. And also another row of the burgundy color and regular double crochet as well. So now we work it on the green yarn and I did two double crochet on each chain just because we are now moving upwards and that's where it's about to start getting bigger and bigger. The next row, I'm using yellow yarn, and I just did regular double crochet the whole yarn. So I stitch mark where I wanted to start increasing on the dress, the cow part section. I did put on the dress just to determine how wide I wanted it to be, how much skin I wanted to expose, so yeah. So using the mint green yarn, I'm going to start double crocheting each stitch until I hit the stitch marker. Then I chain two and with the same hole that is coming out from the chain, I did two double crochet and that's how we're going to increase. And once you increase, you will see like a shape forming. I'm doing two rows of the mint green yard and once I hit the stitch marker again, that's when I'm going to increase. And guys, we increase the same way like how we increase when we started the dress. Nothing different. Two double crochet on the same stitch. Now we're going to do one increased row of the black yarn. And guys, I just wanted to show you how the dress is looking and how it's shaping. Like, it's the shape for me. <laughs> now we move it on to baby pink and we're doing three increased rows. So moving forward, I did one increased row of the green yarn and then the pumpkin orange and then the yellow and then the pumpkin orange again. The more we increase, the more you should see the top part of the dress moving outwards. After that, I did two increased rows of the red yarn, two increased row of the black yarn, one increased row of the mint green yarn, and one increased row of the black yarn. One increased row of the yellow yarn and then one more with the mint green one. All right guys, so we almost done and these are the last few yarns we're gonna use before we finish up the dress. So I finished up doing two increased rows of the baby pink yarn and then one increased row of the hot pink yarn and then one increased row of the black yarn and then we're going to finish it up with one increased row of the yellow yarn and then we're going to do the straps using the yellow yarn. For the straps, I did a slip knot and then I did a slip stitch and I chained 90. And that's really about it, guys. We're done. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.